As you can see, there's been a uh, significant change in this site since last time we uh, brought you here to talk about uh, the wastewater treatment plant and the upgrades. EPCOR, as you know, has been selected uh, as the contractor to do this work. And uh, the purpose of the upgrade, of course, uh, there are a couple major uh, factors here. One of them is to meet um, the important environmental uh, upgrades we need to the effluent downstream as uh, these federal and provincial requirements. And of course, we have a um, a growing community in southern Saskatchewan and Regina, this, so this will meet that capacity. Uh, the project is, is a very dynamic one. In fact, uh, there's more dirt being moved here than there is at the stadium site. So this is a significant uh, construction project, one of the biggest in the history of the city. Um, we are substantially under budget, as you know. Uh, we reported that uh, it's about $240 million under budget over 30 years and about $43 million on the contract side of savings for taxpayers. So taxpayers should be pleased with the, the speed and the savings that we have. Now, much the same as uh, the stadium, we have a, a camera here. You'll see over to your, uh, to your left is a camera to, uh, so citizens can see the construction as it happens over time. Much the same as we have the stadium. Uh, this is not uh, top of mind to residents. They don't see it every day, of course. But this gives them the chance to see the progress we've made over time. So we're very pleased uh, with the progress we've made here. So I'd like to turn it over to uh, Mr. Lee Ward from EPCOR to give you more details on what you see here and what's going to be happening in the future. Thank you. Thanks, Mayor and Chair. Uh, I'd like to welcome to you to the site from, uh, from EPCOR's perspective. My name is Lee Ward and I'm the project director for EPCOR. I'd uh, just like to mention that on a project like this, it's just not one company that can, um, you know, that can fulfill all the requirements. So we have um, selected Western Canadian Partners uh, Lockerbie Stanley Inc., Graham Infrastructure, and our designer is Stantec Consulting Inc. And both Graham and Stantec have had offices in Regina for many years, and we're happy to bring that local element to the project. Uh, the amount of concrete poured for the um, to build those elements will be over 12,000 cubic meters of concrete. There will be over 1.7 million kilograms of reinforcing steel used in the construction of these uh, these basins. Uh, there will be, um, there ha has been 8,000 man hours of work spent to this point in the project. Uh, in a couple weeks we'll be installing a tower crane which will help us to, uh, to finish the construction of these basins. And the size of the excavation that you see here is about 260,000 cubic meters and actually um, can fit two CFL playing fields and uh, 120 uh, Olympic sized swimming pools. So it's quite the massive ex excavation. The plant, once it's finished, will not only serve the growth of Regina, but is actually meant to, uh, to produce higher quality wastewater. We'll actually be removing the nitrogen, uh, ammonia, and phosphorus to higher levels, which will then help to uh, contribute to the health of the Capel Valley watershed. So we're actually very proud of that as well. So with that, um, I'd like to uh, just uh, say thank you all for coming out to see the progress and, um, and welcome to the site.